All right, we want to turn things over to Aaron Moran now for a first look at our weather. And and Aaron, you were here late into the night. Well, late for us <laughs> generally because we have yeah. to get here so early. But uh, yeah, you had to work deep into the evening to cover those storms. Uh, Jeff and I were very busy last night. We had a lot of hail reports, some wind damage issues as well. We even had that one uh, isolated tornado warning in Johnson County. But now things are calm, although they are cooling off. We've got DFW at 56 currently. Arlington's 57, uh, Lancaster sitting at 58, buoy at least now up to 50 from 49 degrees just at last check. But we still have Palestine at 68, Corsican at 65, Athens sitting at 64. Now, even those spots in the mid and upper 60s are 9 to 11 degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday, but obviously in Denton and Bowie, Bridgeport, Gainesville, Graham, Breckenridge, that's a 19 to 21 degree cool down. And all has to do with this cooler air moving in behind the front. So we look at visible satellite and radar, and you can see uh, the cloud cover kind of making its way in behind the front. Front is working through our southeastern counties right now. You can see the winds. These are just sustained winds, not even the wind gusts. 24 miles an hour out of the northwest in Denton, 18 miles an hour right now in Dallas and Fort Worth. But we've got Corsicana reporting those northwest winds, Athens, northwest winds at 7 miles an hour. So it's going to be a brief. Easy afternoon, a cooler afternoon, and we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures in the next hour, hopefully getting into the low 60s for most of the Metroplex, and then this afternoon topping out in the low to mid 60s. But if we're that chilly this afternoon and we have clear skies and northerly winds tonight, it means it's going to be a very chilly start to your Wednesday. A lot of spots getting into the low 40s, so you will want the jacket once again tomorrow morning. But the afternoon should feature abundant sunshine and temperatures rebounding back into the low and mid 70s for most in North Texas. And I showed you this earlier. We do have a warming trend this week. 73 tomorrow, 75 on Thursday, back to near 80 on Friday, and we'll stay warm into the weekend as well. We do have a little rain to talk about. Saturday, 20% coverage. Sunday, 30% coverage. And I know we have that eclipse forecast that everyone wants to know about for Monday of next week. Unfortunately, it does look like we're trending more towards cloudy skies, but at the very least, the GFS model is keeping the rain out of here until we get into the afternoon. But of course, if we've got cloud cover, it doesn't really matter if we're dealing with rain or not. It's still going to be kind of a crummy viewing forecast. Hopefully, things can change as we head towards Monday of next week. But for now, warm, breezy, cloudy uh, with a high of 78, Karen.